organized this event uh, with a piece entitled, I'm Not a Model Minority, Catch a Guy. Model minority. 
minority erases the formative years of Chinese American history wherein women were sex slaves, and as such allows us to ignore the subsequent imposed exoticism on Oriental women today. Asian women are overtly sexualized, with very little media exposure to the contrary, rendered in broad generalizations and stereotypes, such as the geisha, the male order black bride, the china doll. And this kind of insidious oppression has a direct psychological impact. Asian American women over the age of 65 have the highest female suicide mortality rates. Among women aged 15 to 25, our friends, siblings, women in this room, Asian American women have the highest suicide rates across all racial and ethnic groups. This is, no doubt, due in no small part to the way that both women and the Asian American community have been silenced. An inability to speak out leads to repression, and as such, depression. And these numbers do not even account for suicide attempts, only those who've been successful. A few weeks ago, I called my mother in a fury. In my research, I'd come across a picture of what looked like an unaccountably young woman in a cage, this picture. After a bit of research by plugging, into, plugging it in into <laughs> I found document after document from the turn of the 20th century recounting stories of Chinese sex slaves being kept in small enclosures called cribs, being sold into the sex slave industry in infancy, held in poorly lit slave dens, and beaten to death. The fact that we do not learn about these events in school, I told her, was evidence of the tangible effect of the model minority concept. This, I said, was the kind of erasure that resulted from the fallacy that the Chinese community is a perfect, docile, my mother hummed, sleepy, uncharacteris uncharacteristically in bed already at 1 a.m. We are, both of us, New Yorkers and night owls. And then asked, completely guileless, do you think that the Chinese people brought this on themselves because they don't fight or speak up? I was absolutely astonished. Hadn't she been listening to anything that I'd said? Nobody wants to be a statistic or a stereotype. My mother, however, is the perfect example of a woman trapped in the model minority label. She has worked at Baruch College for 25 years and has effectively hit the glass ceiling. She has not been promoted or seen a significant pay increase in 10 years. <coughs> she stayed with my father while he cheated with her. She cries whenever we get into an argument. Her self-worth is indomitably tied to her image. She refuses to believe that she is beautiful because she's fat. Meanwhile, on the street, people are constantly surprised that she isn't my sister, as opposed to my mother. Upon meeting her, several of my friends have turned to me in absolute astonishment and said, your mother is beautiful. This is a fight we have constantly. Her struggle to find self-confidence, the way she lets everyone walk all over her, these are things that I will always, in a way, resent her for. Because the truth is, I never wanted to look Chinese. It was easier to allow people to assume that I was Latina, because I didn't have to explain anything about myself. I even took Spanish for 10 years and can respond and understand it placidly if people assume my race and initiate conversation. It took me years to realize that what I was rejecting was not my race, but the label of model minority. If I wasn't Chinese, I didn't have to fit its stereotype, which is dumb because I am Chinese. And no one is obligated to fit any preconceived notion of who they should or should not be. Perhaps most ironically, in my quest to rebel against everything that the model minority farce imposes, I have played to another stereotype, that of the dragon lady, a precursor to the infamous tiger mother, abrasive, ruthless, confrontational, and problematically hypersexual. This summer, driving through the flat scrubland of Colorado, my white Jewish friend glanced over at me and said that she had yet to meet a woman comfortable in their skin, who didn't worry about their appearance or their weight or their diet. Except you, she said effortlessly, and I froze a little in shock. I'm not overly concerned with my weight or wardrobe, true, but I have spent my entire life warring with how my skin and bone structure does not match what I see in myself. Even today, I am struggling with how I present myself, how I connect to my culture. But perhaps I, like every other Chinese woman, have internalized this, presenting a facade of carelessness, of everything being fine.
not a model minority either. I'm just a model. <laughs> Next up, we have a talk entitled Actions Are Legal, Never People. Carlos Mendez. Woo! 